Let's talk about some of the details regarding azotoria or tying up. First, some background information. Tying up has various causes, but the predominant ones center around an inability to digest carbohydrates, usually resulting from overfeeding. Vitamin and mineral, mineral and electrolyte imbalances have also been shown to lead to episodes of tying up. As you can imagine, it is typically seen in, horse, in working horses who are fed a carbohydrate-based diet. Horses who are afflicted with tying up end up with an overaccumulation of micro, muscle glycogen, which leads to an increase in lactic acid production. This result is made worse when the horse becomes oxygen deficient, such as when being heavily ex exercised. This all leads to an excessive muscle damage during exercise. Tying up can often be linked to genetic predisposition for equine polysaccharide storage myopathy. This condition is common in various breeds, but especially in quarter horses. Tying up is also more commonly seen in mares and fillies. The excess breakdown in muscle tissue leads to myoglobin excretion through the urine. This can lead to kidney damage due to myoglobin casts, causing blockages of the renal tu tubules if the horse is allowed to become dehydrated. As far as the pathophysiology of this disease, either they feel failure to di properly digest polysaccharides um, causing reduced ATP production or exercise or exertion causing a greater need for ATP causes an ATP depletion and, and or an electrolyte imbalance, which disturbs the sodium-potassium pump leading to a disturbed electrochemical gradient. This gradient is important in the clearing of calcium from the muscle cells after they're contracted. The increased intracellular calcium level causes the hyperactivity of proteases which injure membrane phospholipids, causing potassium, creatine kinase, urate, and myoglobulin to leave the cells. The myoglobulin then goes to the kidneys and causes renal tubular obstruction, direct nephrotoxicity, renal vasoconstriction, or acute kidney failure in extreme cases. The increased calcium levels also increase myosin binding to the actin filaments in the muscle cells, leading to increased contraction. The ATP depletion also prevents the myosin from detaching from the ATP from the actin filaments, um, causing the muscles to be in a constant state of contraction, leading to the muscle spasticity that's seen in the event of an attack. Hi, Dr. Dennis. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. So what's going on with Rousey today? Uh, well, um, I was riding him the other day, and all of a sudden she just stopped. And I got up, and I was like, she's doing like a full muscle step. So I freaked out a little bit. And um, I had someone get calm her down and we put her in a stall and that's kind of when I called you because <laughs> I didn't really know what was going on but I also noticed um, that for the past few days she's been having um, she's been seeing like dark urine mm -hmm. um, not like the usual yellow color yeah. so um, that's another thing that's just out of the ordinary okay. so it looks like yeah, she definitely, it was definitely like an episode, you know, it wasn't like a long last one. Okay. Well, that's, it's not going to be a great thing. The first thing characteristic of tying up, uh, or as it's known, I guess, uh, auditoria. Um, so what we can do is we can take a blood sample and run some tests on it to see if there are any elevated uh, protein levels. Um, we can also do a genetic test on her, so she is a quarter horse. She may have a predisposition um, for tying up. Um, The symptoms associated with tying up include stiffness or cramping of the muscles, weakness or atrophy, unwillingness or inability to move, as seen in Raz's case, muscle spasms, excessive sweating and breathlessness, and dark red colored urine, also seen with Raz. Tying up can be diagnosed by assessing the amount of muscle damage via a blood test that tests for the le levels of creatine kinase and aspartate aminotransferase. 
These enzymes are found within the muscle cells and are released into circulation when damage occurs. Genetic testing is also available if the horse is a quarter horse related breed. Good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Um, so we got Ram's test results back. Um, we found that she had some elevated levels of creatine kinase and aspartate aminotransferase, which are enzymes um, that are associated with muscle damage, which is essentially what's happening with um, tying up. So I can conclude that she um, is afflicted with Astoria. Um, what I would recommend is again keeping her on the high fat, low carb diet. If she's not already on alfalfa hay, I would switch her to that. Um, that is typically, typically good for horses with um, tying up. Um, also, you can supplement her diet with some sodium. Um, just add like a salt block to her stall to help balance the um, calcium phosphate ratio. Um, in her cells, um, and then go working her. Yeah, you can keep her on a pretty consistent um, work schedule. If you do decide to give her a day off, just cut her grain that day so she doesn't have any like buildup of carbs or um, like excess energy or anything like that that can contribute to um, a attack. Mm -hmm. um, but you can keep her on a pretty consistent work schedule. Okay, and then if she does have another um, episode. If she does have another episode, again, do exactly what you did the first time. Just stop work, give her some banamine to help settle things, um, and just put her in her stall. You can cover her hindquarters just with like a quarter sheet um, or a light cooler or something just to kind of keep her muscles from breaking down too much. Okay. That sounds like a good plan. I'm sorry to hear this, but I guess it's going to be more management. It's, than yeah, management. it's definitely management more than treatment. Um, there isn't really a definitive cure for it, but it is definitely a very manageable. As far as treatment goes for Azotoria, there isn't much that you can do curatively. However, you can work to prevent attacks from occurring. Um, one of the things you can do to prevent an attack is to keep your horse on a high-fat, low-carb diet, which prevents the buildup of glycogen in the cells while still allowing fatty acids to be used to produce energy. Um, selenium, selenium and vitamin E also have antioxidant properties, which are good for preventing um, an attack from occurring. You can also supplement the diet with sodium and balance work to balance the calcium phosphate ratio in the cells. Um, and then prior to prescribing any medications that will alter the metabolism of these minerals in the blood, your vet should perform a urine electrolyte test just to get some baseline levels of your horse's electrolytes. Um, if your horse does have an attack while you're working it, stop work immediately to prevent further muscle damage, cover their hindquarters with a cooler or sheet, and you can give them some banamine and electrolytes just to calm down their muscles and um, ease the attack.